First thing to do to update the call bot is to go to the Isla Instruments website and if you haven't done so already, create an account. So I'm going to log into my account off screen. Once you've logged into your account, you can then go to the support area. And you can go to the docs and downloads. Here you will find the firmware updates, the user documentation, and the updater application itself. So before you can do any firmware updates, you have to install the updater application on your machine. So that's where we're going to go first. As you can see, there are two updaters here. There's one for the Mac and one for the Windows machines. I'm going to select the Mac one. And it's gone off and downloaded. Next we need to download firmware. So you would normally click the firmware updater or firmware updates here but as you can see actually on the on the page you can see the latest version but this just brings it into focus. The latest version is 4.0.11. I am informed that the firmware is cumulative so you don't have to go through all the previous versions of firmware you can just download this version. So I'm going to download this version. So in order to update, we first of all have to start the core bot updater. By double clicking that, the firmware tools box appears to screen. The next thing you have to do is you have to initiate the cord bot into an update mode. To put the cord bot into an update mode, you have to make sure there is no power on it first. So this has got nothing connected to it, it's completely unpowered. You then turn it over and midway along the back you'll find there is a little button and you need something rather small so I use an allen key in this instance and you just press that in there at the same time you need to connect the USB cable. That puts the cord bot into an update mode. Now, the cord bot looks completely dead, okay? And that's how it's supposed to look. We're now at the point where we have to install or we want to install the update file, but in order to get there, the first thing we have to do is we have to go to the cord bot uh, updater help screen and install the command line tools. You need to press return when prompted and then you will need your password it's saying you can exit the terminal service That's simply by typing exit that therefore Saves, the, saves it, and then you can exit. And we go back to the CordBot firmware tools. So now we need to update the, the CordBot. So first thing is the DFU file that I'm going to update is here, which is 4.11. Um, it's on my desktop, so it's easy to find. Uh, I say select DFU, and I'm going to select that file. And I'm going to open. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click Upgrade. So the firmware update is complete, we click OK, and that completes the process on the computer. To verify the update process is completed, we first unplug the cord bot from the computer, and then we plug it back in. And 
and if I bring that close to the screen you can now see that we are now at 4.11 that's the latest version of the firmware so this is the point in the video where I turn around to you my viewer and say if you enjoyed the content of this video please give it a thumbs up the way the Google and YouTube analytic engines work is that the more likes you get against the video the more it gets promoted by youtube and google and therefore more people with the similar interest to what you have and i have get to see this content this channel is driven by my love of music technology that's what it's called the music tech guy for if you've got queries want to ask questions about themes or issues i raise on this channel please 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 do put your comments into the uh, comment section below the video and i will try to address whatever issue it is you've raised or whatever question you've raised if it's something to do with me making future videos in terms of uh, how to do something on a particular piece of equipment i possess please feel free to say that as well i can't promise to make videos on all the requests i get but i do have a jolly good go at making most of them Around about here is the subscribe button. Again, to do with the uh, YouTube and Google analytic process, the more subscribers the channel gets, the more the channel gets promoted, and the more people get to see the content that you have obviously just watched. If you want to see my latest video, it will be in one of these two boxes on this side of the screen. Also, there is a second box there, and that video will be chosen for you by YouTube based on your YouTube preferences. I look forward to the next time that we interact, and I do mean interact because I always enjoy reading your comments back to me. But for now, bye bye.